Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I know, where have I been? Uh, I'll tell you, I have had probably, gosh, I don't even know how many of you have emailed me, because my email's in my description box, of course, and um, asking where I've been, what's been happening, and I feel like, like really awful for not having been able to do a video but a lot has been happening so I'm going to try to catch you up a little bit in this video then I have another video that I'm going to talk up get a whole bunch of empties that I want to go through uh, and really talk about so that'll be in a, in a separate video and I have some stuff in this video that I will probably mention that has been sent to me I got a PR package from from um, City Beauty and I have been hearing a lot about their new product or newer product it's the ultra fill marionette line treatment and I'm a great candidate for that so that arrived yesterday along with their beyond mascara I've not tried the mascara but I did put this on my face this morning. The directions say twice a day, so I'm not even going to report on it. I know there's been a number of videos I've um, seen, not that I've watched them, but I've seen a number of videos talk about this. So people really seem to like it. So I'm optimistic that it might help my marionette line, lines. And it even says you can put them on your nasal lobio, foblio, whatever they're called, lines up here. Um, but my marionette lines are pretty, this one, especially on one side, my face is lopsided, um, is pretty severe. So I'll be curious to see how it works. One use is not going to tell me anything. But they do have all sorts of specials on it. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But it was a, just a really cool PR package to receive. I didn't know I was getting it. So I, I you know, that to me is like awesome when you get something you really hadn't expected to get. So I had, I've been, we have been, as you know, my mom had passed away on Easter Sunday, April 9th, and we have been working super, super hard trying to prepare the home in Salem for sale. And in real estate, timing is everything. You know, you're either going to grab the market or you're going to miss the market. So I was really feeling the pressure of trying to grab the market because I know there's been changes in the market. I've been a real estate agent for 37 years now, so I, I know that. And um, so, you know, preparing the house for sale. My mom and dad lived in the home for 60 years. And as you can well imagine, there, there was a lot of stuff <laughs> not only in the house but in the basement in the attic and in the backyard so we've just been we've been busting butt and that's what i've been doing i've been coming home on weekends from working down there super exhausted everyone's been pitching you know helping out the kids my husband jay has been doing a ton of stuff my sister her husband everyone has has been um helping to to do it so we had decided to hold a yard sale <laughs> And the most amazing thing happened. I talked about the yard sale. And um, the day before the yard sale, I got a message from Kathy A. Kathy A Beauty, I think it's Beauty and Lifestyle, right here on YouTube. I'll link her, her channel. And I thought it was a joke. I thought she was just pulling my leg. She says, oh, she goes, is your yard sale, yard sale still on because it's going to rain? I said, yeah, <laughs> thinking, you know, does she want me to like show her some of the stuff or whatever, you know? She goes, I'm going to come up and help you. I'm like going, what? Because Kathy and I've, Kathy A and I've tried to meet up a couple of times and haven't really been able to, to pull it off. The last one was when Carla, which I think her channel's name is Carla Out Loud now. It used to be Real Chicks TV. But anyways, Carla had come to, um, I think, Connecticut and um, we had really tried to coordinate a, a get together for me to go down there. It's about two and a half hour ride to have gotten to go, to go down there. It just didn't work out between the house, between some health issues I was having. It just didn't work out. And then prior to that, we tried to get together when Gail and Bella from the UK came over and that didn't work out. So anyways, lo and behold, she actually showed up. She drove two and a half hours. She showed up Saturday morning, the day of our yard sale. She had 
all of this stuff with her. It was like, talk about being prepared. She was telling me and giving me tips of things I never even thought of, right? Because I've really not ever done, at least I don't think I've done a yard sale in probably at least 30 years or something like that, you know, I've been involved in a yard sale. So she was giving all of these tips and all that, but I'll tell you, I'm going to include this little video clip here that I took that day. So you will not believe who popped by today. Take a look. Hey. Woohoo! Woohoo! Kathy A. And if you don't follow her on YouTube, you need to. Yard sale! <laughs> Yard sale! She is absolutely gorgeous. You know, I, I know that she had done a video She's, she had posted a video about the visit too, and she spoke super highly of me. And I was like dumbfounded when I heard what she, how she was describing me. And it was so touching. But in either case, um, meeting her in real life, you could see her personality in her eyes. She has wonderful skin. Her skin is absolutely beautiful. Um, she's probably one of those people that her personality, magnetic personality, or her charm comes through in real life super, super quick. You know, you can, you can just kind of read it right away. Anyways, she came up and we just had an awesome visit. She was out in the street with her yard sale sign flagging people down. It was hysterical. My husband Jay still talks about how she did that when she came up. It was absolutely hysterical. Anyways, Kathy A., um, if you if you don't know her, I'm sure you do. Check out her channel. She does product reviews. She does. Um, I think she's gonna do a little bit more lifestyle type videos now. But she's also done like deep dives into brands and deep dives into into products. So she really tests products the right way, in my opinion. And she does a lot of investigative type of work on the brand. So I think I think she. Um, I think she's amazing, and I just couldn't believe that she drove two and a half hours to come to New Hampshire to help me with my yard sale. I was like, oh my gosh, it was like unreal. So anyways, that's that was that Saturday that she came up. And the following week after that was Memorial Day weekend. Now, Jay and I had made reservations last year because in some of the places that we go to, you have to make your reservations a year in advance. We had made reservations last year for this year's Memorial Day weekend to go camping in um, a camp resort called Bailey's up by Old Orchard Beach in Maine. And I hemmed and hawed. I debated. I didn't know because the house wasn't ready. And I, when, when I knew it wasn't going to be ready for the beginning of May, which would have been optimal, that would have been the perfect time, then my next target date was June 1st. And then after that, I just feel, you know, we're going to be playing catch up to the market, right? And that's not a good place for a seller to be. But anyway, so we had gotten so much accomplished. And then the stuff that was still left to do, I figured I could do when we came back. And over Memorial Day weekend, my sister was down there. I don't know if she was down there every day, but my sister was down there uh, cleaning, preparing, getting so much stuff done, packing up the final stuff. She did an amazing job. And... Um, so anyways, Jay and I did go away Memorial Day weekend. We went to Bailey's. I'm going to include some pictures as I'm talking. One of the things that we did, and I know some of you guys think I'm probably nuts about it, but we um, we we brought our bikes. We have e-bikes. And there are those people that feel e-bikes, e people that ride e-bikes are cheating, and that's completely the opposite of the reality because people, most people that ride e-bikes ride them to get a little assist and they're riding a bike, maybe they wouldn't be able to do what they're doing right without it. So I look at it as an assist. I can get as much assist as I need, but I have to be pedaling to get any assist. So you still have to work. And if you keep that on zero or down at one, that's only going to kick in when you're struggling to go up a little bit of an incline. If you go up to two, then of course it's a little bit different. But um, anyway, so the very first afternoon when I got there, I had worked on Thursday, took Friday off. I had taken, when I got there that afternoon, Thursday, I took the bike, we took the bikes off the car rack. And as you can see in this picture, I was not dressed for biking, no helmet, wearing flip-flops, which is not anything anyone should ever do. But I got on my bike, Glenda, the Good Witch, the one, that's my bigger bike, Glenda. And um, 
I just rode all around the campground. It was the first time I'd been on my bike since last fall. And it was awesome. It was awesome. When Jay and I went to Florida in January, we went in Venice. There's a trail in Venice, a, um, a bike path. And we had rented bikes and did the trail. So in January, that was, I rode a bike. But uh, for me, on my bike, it had been a first time in, in, in a year. So we did that. I rode all around the campground. A couple of times, we ended up doing a little bit more. One day, we went out on the rail trail up there. And these are a couple of pictures of the rail trail. And you can see it's a little bit more appropriately dressed, you know, with the helmet on and sneakers or shoes on. Um, because you really need to have stable footwear on when you're riding a bike. If, you, if you're pedaling, you know, you need to have that stable footwear. And you should always have something that protects your noggin, right? I mean, if you ever take a spill, um, you know, especially on hard ground or concrete or something like that, you, you can really, really, really ruin the rest of your life if you take a spill on a bike or anything really without a helmet. So um, we just, it was awesome. The weather was perfect. We rode all around. One day we went down into Old Orchard Beach and we went out on the end of the pier, which is a very famous pier in Old Orchard Beach, Maine. And um, we had a rest, we had a little restaurant. It's a dive. It doesn't have the best food, but you're paying for sitting there, being at the end of the pier, looking at the, uh, the ocean. So that's exactly what Jay and I did. We, we um, sat at at the bar, not the bar, but it's sort of like a bar, but then it's over the ocean and it's it's where people eat. It's not an alcohol bar, it's what people eat. So we sat there at that table side bar area and we had ocean front and um, we ordered each ordered a drink and we had a lunch and it was just really, really awesome. We walked all around the amusement parks. We did we did a bunch of stuff. And then we came back and the pool was so crowded, Memorial Day weekend, I think everyone and their mother was up camping. The pool was so crowded, um, but we were in the adult pool, and even though that was crowded, you could get in the water, you could enjoy it, you could, it was just really nice. It was really, really a nice, nice time. So it was Memorial Day weekend, and I hated to come back to the reality of what we were doing, but we did, we came back and <laughs> finished finish the house, you know, finish getting the basement ready. I'm, I'm going to link a video if you want to see it. There's a video of the, I did sort of a walkthrough for somebody that can't see it, you know, like where you show corners. So not a video designed to entice someone to come and buy it, but somebody that would be interested so they could really see the corners, the carpet, the ceilings and stuff like that. So a different type of a video, but I'll link it here or here. Um, if anyone wants to go take a look at it, it's on my, um, uh, my real estate YouTube channel. So today we're, you know, got the open house today. I'm hoping that we get some good traffic. Again, the market is, is um, adjusting, you know, depending on where you are, it's adjusting. So, but anyways, um, that I thought was, was I'm happy that we got, I hit that June 1st date. So keep your fingers crossed. The other thing I wanted to tell you is I ended up having my surgery scheduled. And some of you have reached out to me, how did it go? Well, this coming Thursday, I think it's, is it the 8th? This coming Thursday, I go for my pre-op. And they do things a little bit differently. They're going to insert a magnetic guide inside. Weird, I know. Um, and then the following Thursday, the 15th, is my actual surgery. And then I go for my post-op on the 26th. And then if all goes well, Jay and I are supposed to go to um, Booth Bay Harbor over 4th of July. So that um, that's an update on the health issues. It's been pretty well an emotional time for me these last two months. So one thing after another, it seems like, and it just, there's like no let up on that. I ended up buying this crystal hair remover. <laughs> I thought it'd be perfect for camping, right? Because sometimes when you're camping, my shower in my motorhome is small. And it's, it's, I sometimes will take a little bit of water and I'll go sit outside and shave my legs. So I wanted to try this because this is that crystal that you kind of rub. So I, I've used it. I used it the first time I used it. I said, what is this? I thought it was a waste of money. I said, this isn't working. I could still feel hairies on my leg. And I thought it said something about, um, you know, don't use it. It says don't use it hard, too hard. It's recommended usage is 
every two to three weeks. I cannot go two to three weeks. Uh, Maybe another brand, yes, but not this one. I can't go two to three weeks. I've been using it once a week. And I like how when I use it, right, you rub it, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, I, I like how my legs feel really super soft afterwards, but there's no way I'm getting two to three weeks between shaves or between rubs, <laughs> whatever you call them, right? Between rubs. So I'm still going to use this mainly in the RV because I think that's where it's really going to make the biggest impact. So I went to Trader Joe's too. And Trader Joe's has the super goop dupe sunblock that I always look for while I couldn't get any. There, there was none to be found. But I did try their coconut body butter. Um, this is luxurious body butter made with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. Now, if you don't like coconut, you might not like this. I don't know. Very mild coconutty smell, not strong, nothing. I love this. I think this is an awesome body cream. I bought this too to keep in the motorhome and I thought, yeah, no, I brought it in the house when we came back because I loved it so much. So I have it by my bedside. I'll do my feet, my hands, whatever I do, uh, whatever. But I'm really digging this. I think this is super affordable. And again, Trader Joe's coconut. They had another, um, another flavor as well, but this is the one that I liked. It didn't have my super goop dupe, but I bought an other spray, sun, uh, sun spray, which is in the motorhome. So I can't show it to you, but I really like this a lot. I think this is really cool. I did get in the mail the, I'm on auto delivery for my Petite and Pretty Mascara. And I'm also on auto delivery delivery for my deep cleansing oil. This is the DHC deep cleansing oil. I really, really like this deep cleansing oil. I have, um, I'm on auto delivery. I get this like every two months, which is the perfect amount of time for me. I have uh, one in the motorhome, one in my shower, one in the bathroom. And what I do is I do my first cleanse with this. And then that just kind of gets off all the makeup, um, my mascara. Okay. So my battery died. Anyways, the, the DHC cleansing oil. And in my empties, I have another cleansing oil I've been using so that you can... I think my camera's crooked. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, that'll be in my empties video. But anyways... I just keep going back to this and it's on auto delivery. I really, really like this so far, the best out of all the cleansing oils that I've used. And because I have dry skin, I really like using a cleansing oil. And even though it's a cleansing oil, it's not oily. I put it on, I rub it, I you know massage near my, my lashes or whatever, all over my face, trying to loosen up my, my makeup. And then when I add water, it kind of like, doesn't really foam up, but it gets milky. And then when I rinse it off, my, my skin feels just really smooth. It does not feel oily whatsoever. And I usually follow up and I just finished my, I think I have my empties here, I'll show you. I just finished the classic face cleanser. I really, really love Peach's skincare when it comes to their cleansers. I love this. I have to order another one. I thought I had ordered it and I didn't. And I probably didn't because I still have the perfecting polish. So anyways, I ran out of the, the cleanser. I love Peach's skincare, that cleanser. And I love the perfecting polish. It actually just leaves your skin so nice and smooth. And I also use their flawless, their flawless um, exfoliator. So from Peach's, those are the three products that I really love. I also use their vinegar toner that's in the motorhome. So anyway, so that I really like, um, really, really like using. And I also ordered some, this is the nail files, the glass nail files. I have ordered these before. I really prefer to have glass nail files rather than the emery boards or anything of that nature. I think the glass nail files, I can't open this one up. I should have opened it up. The box is taped. The glass nail files are just so much better. Um, 
I do feel though after a while they kind of get dull at least mine do so I ordered another set of these I have them all over the place I have one of them in J one of the files in Jay's car one in my car one in the motorhome a um, couple in my pocketbook I've one at my desk I have them all over the place so I ordered that so I haven't really gone crazy spending um, at all I've got some different things that I want to get um, many of you probably know Mary Glitzy Fritzy. I want to try her palette. She's done a collaboration with uh, Sydney Grace, and I'd love to try that palette. I haven't ordered it yet, but it's on my wanting to do list. I keep trying to convince myself I really do need another palette. I really do. <laughs> so, but because I never think of it, and people always ask, I don't really go crazy with my eye makeup. I don't, I'm not that. I'm not that good at applying it. I'm way better than I used to be. But today on my eyes, this is a palette I bought quite a while ago. Um, this is Viseart, and this is the Violet, Intendu Violet palette. Um, yeah, and this is, I've had this for quite a while, and this is everything that I have on today. I've used this corner here, this one on the bottom, it's upside down, but this one on the bottom here is what I use for my all around base. Then in my, for the crease in the middle here are the darker. And then I did a little bit of the purplish one over it. And then some of the, I pressed some of the gloss. Kind of a simple look with my eyes today. I mean, I, I tend to, to keep it really simple. So that's about it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it at this point in time. Keep us, you know, keep keep us in your thoughts as far as being able to sell the home today. Like I said, is that open house, and I'm hoping we get some good traffic and that we get some decent offers. It would be nice. And tonight we're going out with friends. Um, I'm going to try to record my empties, so you'll see that. I hopefully now that we're done the heavy heavy lifting on preparing the house, I will be able to get back to a schedule. I hope. I hope. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you are new here, thank you for joining me. And please be sure to subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. It really, really does help. Now that I hope I'm back, my focus is going to be trying to be very consistent and grow my channel. It's been, I've been laxing, really lackadaisical. But again, it's been that stuff that's happened. So love you all. Have a, a great day. Bye-bye.